and the new year is about to come, it's important I prepare your heart. I prepare your spirit. I prepare you to be the superhuman that God has made you to be. You are made in the image likeness of God. Simply meaning that you are the most superior creation of God. And from the day that God created humanity and make humanity so precious and so great and made humanity what he has made human to be till this day there is a swift in the spirit world and this swift and change in the spirit world has made another type of people to emerge in the beginning when God created the heavens and the earth God decided to create man in his image likeness and man became a living soul in the image and the likeness of God. And God gave man dominion over the earth and everything that is on the face of the earth. Now, after that, something happened. Tell your neighbor, something happened. After God created man in his image and likeness, after that, something happened. Amen. Say amen original plan of God the original purpose of God is not to create man to just be in his image and his likeness. No. That is not a perfect creation. The perfect creation is that God is going to give birth to a man and the man will become God. Hallelujah. Man is not to be likeness of God, image of God, have dominion over the earth. Man is supposed to sit on the throne with God right there in heaven and be like God himself. That was why Adam and Eve could not make it. They destroyed the first plan of God. After they destroy the first plan of God, it is to correct God so that God will change his mind. From putting man to be a living soul on the face of the earth to becoming man like God. And that is why for people who take God for granted, especially when God is using a man to speak to them in the prophetic, they take God for granted. They take it to their own peril. You say, not be man they talk to me, waiting that man they talk. You take it to your own peril. You take it to your own disadvantage. You take it for your own punishment. When you say, eh, what did the man want to for me? You take it for your own peril because uh, you are no more seeing eh, God. What you are seeing is Adam and the likeness of God. We are not to be in the image and likeness of God. We are to be God's own children. That was why when God looked at everything he created, in the book of Genesis, God saw everything he created. It was good and God was happy. And that plan that God had was not fulfilled there. Because of this, Adam had to commit the highest blunder with Eve to destroy that plan so that the real thing can come out. Because Adam and Eve was a shadow, was a camouflage, was a copy of the plan of God. But at the end, when that first plan was destroyed, now the Bible says, and God sent his only begotten son. His begotten son was just word. Now the word now was to be made flesh. So that through the word, there can be a new creation. And that new creation will become the children of God, the sons of God, the people who are going to be on this face of the earth and also be God on the face of the earth. Not people who are going to be in the image and likeness of God. Adam was the man in the image and likeness of God. But right now, we are now the sons of God. And the son is entitled to everything the father has. A son is entitled to the supernatural. A son is entitled to behave like his father. When he says something, it is the father speaking. 
When you take a step, it is the father taking a step. When he's sitting down, it is the father that is sitting down. Amen. Somebody, amen. Because initially, there was nothing like sitting at the right hand of Christ, or right hand of God. There was nothing like seated with Christ above principalities and powers because it was not given to them. What was given to Adam is to be the overseer of the earth. He doesn't have dominion towards heaven. He cannot command angels. He cannot make decision. All he knows, oh, goat, goat, go and be eating grass. Now your name be goat. Uh, snake, snake, go that side. Turn near here. Lion, don't cross your boundary. He was just in the garden of Eden running about. <laughs> God, that is the level God put him. Likeness, but not. Image, but not. Is somebody hearing me? But when the word was made flesh, when the word came, and he said, God sent his only begotten son, and anyone that receives him, to him that have received him, he has become a new creation. New, new world, which means old creation is gone. <laughs> old creation is what? Old creation of human flesh, old creation of hunger, old creation of struggling in the garden, running up and down, old creation of all that Adam was going through. They are gone, and all has become all has become what. And to them that receive him, to them he gave what? Power to be what? Sons of God and not image and likeness of God, but sons of God. People that God gave birth to is different from people that God created. Adam was created, but we, we were born of God. Somebody clap the heart for Jesus. Clap the heart for Jesus. I am born of God. I am no more image likeness i am no more likeness image i am now born of a god hallelujah hallelujah and that is why i'm going to draw the message to now talk to you i want to talk to you you that said i am a child of god you that said, I have Christ in me. You that said, I am born again. You that said, I am a believer. You that said, I am a son of God. There are a lot of mistakes that you that say, you are a child of God, you are a son of God, are making. So we are going to be looking at the mistakes. That's the topic. Looking at the mistakes that children of God are making about their God. That's the message for today. We are going to be looking at the mistakes that children of God are making. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mistake number one. People that say they are children of God. People that say, oh, I'm a believer. I'm re I receive Christ. I have Christ in my life. Mistake number one is limitation of self. Self-limitation. That is why somebody, okay, I don't have money. I am sick. I can't make it. I don't have help. I don't have anybody. I don't have support. I don't have this. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to go. I don't know this. I am not. I this, that, that, that. That is where you have limited yourself and put yourself in the bondage that you are going through because Satan, the devil, the adversary, the enemy is going about looking for who to say, I can't. Looking for who to say, I can't help myself. Looking for people who are confessing with their mouth failure because when you confess with your mouth, it is exactly what is in your heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, what happened? The mouth speaketh. Why is the mouth speaking failure? Because in your heart, there's failure. 
If there's success in your heart, your mouth will talk success. If there's power in your heart, your mouth will talk power. If there's prophetic grace in your heart, your mouth will talk prophecy. Hello? Hello? The very day you decide to stop limiting yourself on what you can do, becomes the very day you start rising. In this Lagos state, by the grace of God, initially I was doing a little bit fine. And the time came, I lost everything. When I lost everything, I had to go back to the village. From the village, I decided to come back, to come and work hard. When I came back, there's no place to stay. I got an apartment as small as, you know the size of, let me put it, the size of four and a half by six. That was the apartment I got. And in that apartment, my already, the properties I have in Lagos has been moved down to the east. I have to lie down there on the floor with my baby and my wife. Because it was an uncompleted building. That uncompleted building, they were planning to build it, but the man that started building lost money, can't make it. So there's no apartment. The place I was staying with my one of my brother, my brother said, if you want to bring your family to Lagos, you can stay in my house, get a house. And there's no amount of money that can get me a better place than to get that little place at 6,000 Naira. And I moved into that place. I was lying on that floor and one day God asked me a question. He said, whose son are you? I said, I am a child of God. I'm a son of God. He said, no, son of God cannot be in this condition. This is the mount of possibility. Any day you get there, everything in your life is settled. And as many that will get there with you, everything in their life is settled. The moment I heard this message, I woke up. I woke my wife, woke my small brother and my baby then. I said, we are already changed. I said, no more. We are moving out of this place in less than one week from now. There was no money. But because of what I saw, because of what I heard, I made a pronunciation. That day, I trekked from Eba to Alaba. And when I got to Alaba, where I'm doing my business, a miracle happened. The first miracle that happened is that I got the money I've never seen all those while. And the first thing that entered my heart is to go and get a new apartment. And I proceed to this Dada Street. And I got another apartment bigger than where I was. Because I responded to what God said to me.